Ladies and gentlemen, and members of the class of 2012, I am Dr. Tim Downs. It is my pleasure to serve as Master of Ceremonies for today's undergraduate commencement convocation of the College of Business Administration and the College of Hospitality and Tourism Management. Today is a special day of achievement for our graduates and a time of rejoicing and celebration for their families and friends. It is also a day of great pride for the faculty and staff members who have assisted our students during their studies at Niagara. As you may be aware, this is the first time in a number of years that Niagara is hosting the undergraduate commencement ceremonies on campus. While we know that hosting these events has caused some challenges for students, students' families, and the campus community, we are proud that the class of 2012 is graduating from their campus today. This weekend, Niagara University will confer degrees on nearly 1,200 candidates. Approximately 750 of those degrees will be awarded during our two ceremonies today. I sincerely hope that the baccalaureate degrees our students receive today will inspire a commitment of, to lifelong success, learning, and service to others. In our academic procession, the mace today was carried by Mr. Don Balecki, Niagara's Vice President for Institutional Advancement. The MACE is the symbol of the security of the university president, the corporate faculty and students, and is used only when they are solemnly convoked to deliberate as a university. We would also like to thank Brian Eckenrod, an adjunct professor in our theater and fine arts department, for adding to the spirit of our ceremony with a special touch that only bagpipes can provide. And now for the national anthems. O Canada and the Star Spangled Banner will be performed by Michael Jones. Michael is graduating this morning with a Bachelor of Science degree from the College of Business. Oh Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love in all our sons command. With glowing hearts we see thee rise, the true north strong and free. From far and wide, O oh Canada, we stand on guard for thee. And God keep our land glorious and free. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the rain parts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say, does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Thank you. Nice job. Thank you. 
Gracious God, today we celebrate the accomplishments of the class of 2012. In four fast-paced years, they have joined the ranks of the proud NU alumni. We are thankful for their presence among us over these four years. We beg your blessing upon them today as they leave Mount Eagle Ridge. There will undoubtedly be many fond farewells, but the promise of your spirit assures us that we are never far from you and one another in both heart and mind. Extend your grace then to these graduates and calm their fears and guide their steps with the assurance that you are always with them. In this time of economic uncertainty, offer the certain gifts of the spirit, wisdom, counsel, courage, understanding, prayerfulness, reverence, and awe are truly the gifts which inspire and guide our steps in this ever-changing world. When our graduates call upon your name and ask for that which truly promises life and meaning to their lives, grant these gifts in your abundant love. On this special day too, O oh Lord, bless the grandparents, parents, and relatives of these graduates. They have been of inestimable support to the class of 2012 in ways only you will ever fully know. May their love and example inspire our graduates to live lives of goodness, generosity, and a preference to serve and not to be served. We pray in gratitude for our faculty, staff, and administrators who accompany the class of 2012 in their academic journey at Niagara University. May our graduates see in them servant leaders and scholars to emulate. May the accomplishments of today's honorees inspire and uplift all of us not to settle for mediocrity, but to excel in every manner of living in your sight. Like our university patron, St. Vincent de Paul, may the class of 2000 always, 2012 always strive to be good, do good, and be a force for good. And may your Holy Spirit be their guide and hope. We pray this and in confidence, for we pray it through Christ our Lord. Amen. Six years ago, Niagara celebrated its 150th anniversary. To commemorate this event, Roland Martin was commissioned to write an original musical number to help celebrate this special time in the university's history. It is called Hymn of a Graceful Heart, based on Psalm 138. Today, it will be performed by Kristen Gregory, a former theater faculty voice teacher, and her husband, Brian Eckenrode, a member of the Theater and Fine Arts Department, accompanied by Mr. Don Shrimpton. Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, it is customary during convocations such, a, such as this to honor individuals whose achievements clearly set them apart from others. We do so today through the conferral of honorary degrees to two outstanding individuals. The conferral of an honorary degree is a symbol of the university's respect and affection. It is a privilege conferred by the Board of Trustees after careful consideration of each candidate. Today's honorary degrees will be presented by Father Joseph Levesque, CM, President of Niagara University. Assisting him will be Brother Martin Schneider, CM, Coordinator of Commencement Activities. Our first recipient is Mr. Tom Ashbrook, the host of National Public Radio's On Point. Dr. John Stranges, who holds the distinguished title of University Professor at Niagara University, will read the citation. Just days after the terrorist attacks of September the 11th, 2001, National Public Radio found itself in need of an experienced professional to report on matters of national security. NPR sought a seasoned journalist a master of the give and take of interactive programming. The person they were looking for, as it turned out, was Tom Ashbrook. Born and raised on an Illinois farm, Tom studied American history at Yale University. He spent his junior year at Andhra University in India, where he reflected on and wrote about Mohandas Gandhi's drive for Indian independence. Before taking up professional journalism, Tom worked as a surveyor and dynamiter in Alaska's oil fields, a teaching fellow with the Yale China Association, a Hong Kong television personality, and a producer of international editions of Chinese kung fu films. Tom then began a career in journalism that spans 20 years as a foreign correspondent, newspaper editor, and author. He spent 10 years in Asia, based in India, Hong Kong, and Japan, starting at the South China Morning Post, then as a correspondent for the Boston Globe. He began his reporting career covering the refugee exodus from Vietnam and the post-Mao opening of China. And he has covered the shifting, and at times tumultuous, political and economic events in the United States and around the world, from Somalia and Rwanda to Russia and the Balkans. At the Globe, where he served as deputy managing editor until 1996, he directed coverage of the first Gulf War and the end of the Cold War. In 1989, Tom received the Livingston Prize for National Reporting, an award given to media professionals under the age of 35 for outstanding journalism. In 1996, Tom won a Nieman Fellowship for a year of advanced study at Harvard University. He then temporarily changed direction, taking a four-year plunge into internet entrepreneurship, which is chronicled in his book, The Leap. Today, as the host of NPR's On Point with Tom Ashbrook, Tom is heard by more than two million listeners every week. His acclaimed radio show, airs on 230 stations coast to coast and has drawn prestigious awards and historically high ratings. On Point also has the youngest listening audience of any nationalized broadcast public radio show in the United States. In a recent interview with the Boston Globe, Tom was asked what he remembered most about his first radio show. He replied saying, it was the sense of national emergency the sense of duty, just to get up to that microphone and do what I could. Tom's commitment to both his country and his craft is a splendid model for our students to follow. Therefore, it is with great pleasure that Niagara University confers on Tom Ashbrook, on Aras Causa, the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters. Thank you, Dr. Stranges. Mr. James Bolt, Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of the Computer Task Group and a member of the Niagara University Board of Trustees is our next recipient. Michael S. Jaska, 
Vice President for Administration at Niagara University, will read the citation. English Bishop Robert South once said, if there be any truer measure of a man than by what he does, it must be by what he gives. Both aspects of today's honoree can be weighed when considering what he has accomplished since he graduated from Niagara University nearly 40 years ago. What James R. Bolt does is financial and general management. He currently serves as chairman and CEO of Computer Task Group, a leading provider of information technology and business consulting solutions to the healthcare market. Jim joined CTG in 1996 as Vice President of Finance and Chief Financial Officer, bringing with him more than 30 years of experience obtained in positions including Corporate Vice President of Finance, Secretary, and CFO at Pratt and Lambert United Inc., and as an accountant with Deloitte and Touche. At CTG, he has held the roles of Executive Vice President and Vice President Strategic Staffing Services. He was appointed president and named to its board of directors in 2001 and named chairman the following year. What Jim gives in his time, talent, and treasure, he has offered his considerable expertise as a member of a number of boards, including the Catholic Health System of Western New York, Child and Family Services of Buffalo, the United Way of Buffalo and Erie County, and the Buffalo Niagara Partnership. He also assists his alma mater as a member of the Niagara University Board of Trustees, serving as chairman of its audit subcommittee and as a member of the finance, investment, and risk subcommittees. He is a former member of the College of Business Administration's advisory board and is a benefactor of the college's financial services laboratory. He has also been a member of the Lynch Society for more than a decade. In 2008, the College of Business honored him with the Dean's Award in recognition of his generous support. And this past November, Jim and his wife Mary served as chair couple for Niagara University's President's Dinner. We are proud to count James R. Bolt as one of our alumni and are especially delighted to acknowledge him today for the leadership he has demonstrated in his career and community by conferring on him Onaris Causa, the degree of Doctor of Commercial Science. Thank you, Mr. Jaska. Congratulations to our honorees for this well-deserved recognition. We are delighted to welcome you into the ranks of our alumni. It is now my pleasure to call upon Tom Ashbrook, who will deliver the commencement address. Mr. Ashbrook. Distinguished honorees, distinguished guests, student families and friends, it is really an honor to be here with you. This is a big day. I'm honored to stand here for Niagara University's graduation in the shoes of Tim Russert and Mother Teresa, no less. And above all else, before all else, let's say it right here, all of us, congratulations to the class of 2012. You have made it. <laughs> Bravo, bravo. It is a great and beautiful day, and I'm so glad to be with you. You know, a lot of people have poured a lot into you. Love and time and care, parents and grandparents and aunts and uncles and siblings, yes, siblings, uh, and teachers and friends. And here you are, only one short speech away from graduation. Bravo to you. <laughs> now, I, uh, I remember like it was yesterday, sitting on your side of the podium, staring at life after college and wondering what on earth it was really going to be, all the questions, what really was I going to do? How was I going to make a living? It was so thrilling to be headed out of college. I was so ready. And it was also so terrifying all at the same time. You may have a little bit of that feeling today because now here you are. And the first thing I want to say to you today is, 
You are going to do fine. You are young and strong and smart. You've got the beauty of life in you. You're blessed with a fine education and the love of people who care for you, who helped bring you to this day. You've got the right stuff. It's important to know that even in this crazy world, full of all kinds of challenges, you have got what it takes. Never doubt it, because you're going to need it. A class of 2012, I don't have to tell you, you are graduating at a time when the world is full of big question marks. Is the economy really coming back? And if not now, when? You need jobs. Is the great American experiment in democracy and freedom and pulling together still working? We need all that now more than ever. You, truly you, will be the ones who decide how it goes forward. Will our planet be a good and fruitful home for you and your children and your grandchildren. We have fiddled around a lot with our environment. We're still at it. In your lifetimes, there will be pigeons coming home to roost. There will be consequences. Will that be manageable? We still have more consequential decisions to make with our votes and our pocketbooks and the way we live. You will be making those decisions. And not alone, we're not running out on you. But it's your time that's rising right here. One day you're just a passenger on the planet. The next thing you know, the thing is yours. And this is the beginning of that day for you. So my beautiful 2012ers, how to live with your newly minted degrees and your hopes and dreams and soon responsibilities. And my first piece of advice when you step out of these caps and gowns today is just dive in. Do not be daunted. Don't hesitate. Get going, whatever that means. Some of you, lucky, smart, connected, determined, will go straight to jobs. Work hard. Do them well. It takes excellence now to hold your own. And that's good. Embrace it. Some of you will go for more school, and good for you. Don't hide out there. See the world's needs as you study. Sharpen your insight and put it to work for all of us. Some of you don't know, sitting here today, what it's going to be. And I'm telling you, just get out there and dig in. Grab on, get started, whatever it is, however uncertain the, your path right now, you will learn in the doing about the world and about yourself. Right out of college, you heard it. I was a surveyor and a dynamiter in Alaska. That's where the jobs were. I was a teacher in Hong Kong, a long way from home. A cub reporter for the South China Morning Post, a kung fu movie producer. You can imagine my parents wondered what was going on. I was a TV host and a newspaper correspondent, an editor, a dot-com entrepreneur and author, and pretty soon, there it was, a career that I could never have articulated up front, but I threw myself into all of it, full force, every part, and it found a shape and direction that fit me. Now, I talk with Americans and a lot of others, too, on the radio for a living, and who knew at the beginning that that would be the thing, the calling, the next step out of all those wonderful strands of work and passion? What matters, and you know this, you've already proven it, what matters is to engage and apply yourself, to bring all your strengths and your discipline and your personal genius, whatever that is, to bear. Grab on, work hard, and listen for your deepest satisfactions, for the voice that says, this is my way. Here's where I can make a difference. Here's where I can let my unique talents roll and grow. You will know it when you find it, and others will too. You'll see it in their response to your work. You'll see that this is the thing you were meant to do. And when you find that path, that way, stay on it. Stick with it. Put in the work. Be ready some, to run some risk for that path. 
Raise the bar high on that path. Go for it. Now, you may start humbly. I did. I grew up on a little farm in the Midwest surrounded by cornfields and not much money, but a lot of love. When it came time to go out and see the world, my folks didn't have cash for an airfare. They didn't have cash for a bus fare. But they had a friend who worked as a dispatcher in the stockyards in our corner of Illinois. And they threw me onto a big 18-wheeler, a semi-trailer truck full of hogs, headed for Philadelphia, me and the driver and a whole lot of pigs in close quarters. And that was it. 16 years old, and I was off into the world. A career in journalism has meant that I've looked into a lot of other people's lives and careers in all kinds of times and places. Been up close with military men and women, with high-tech dreamers and doers, with ship captains and rice farmers, doctors in Rwandan refugee camps, hoteliers in war-torn Somalia. I've sat with presidents and prime ministers at the height of their powers, and I've watched them flee through fire in the night in the Philippines, stood next to the funeral pyre when the assassin's gun came out in India, drank tea with the now emperor of Japan and with camel drivers in Afghanistan. You want a good life even in challenging times? Here's what I've learned. Just be ready to step up on three fronts. First, to yourself. Bring your A game to everything you do. It takes more effort, more work, more commitment. But when you stretch yourself and invest yourself and give it everything you've got, that's when you truly find yourself, the best of what you bring, the best of what you are. That's when you will feel whole. So work hard toward your excellence, not grimly, but with joy, and the payoff will find you. Then, be ready to step up for those you love. Make it the biggest circle that you can, the family that raised you, the friends you've made and will make, the families that you will make yourselves. This is where commitment is just the beginning. This is where you want to bring your greatest generosity of spirit, your greatest understanding and humility and compassion. You want to bring those things to all the world, but first and most sincerely to those you love. And their love will lift and nurture you in return. They will have your back. And with luck, you'll have right there a glimpse of paradise on this earth and a place to come home to. And finally, be ready, really ready in your time to step up for your community and your country. We are a nation of great individual stories and dreams, but our greatest story remains what we've accomplished together. We are not and have not been a perfect people, but we have struggled to do the right thing, and we have made progress. That struggle will go on in your generation. Do not be a bystander. Think of justice and what it really means. Think of this planet and the care it needs. See your fellow human beings for what they are, your brothers and sisters, and then step up to show that kind of care from the block you live on right up to the great national issues of your time. When you engage, the future, your own future, grows brighter. Do those three. Bring your A game. Give your love sincerely. Embrace your community, and your lives will be rich. And don't wait, and don't trim your ambition, your dreams. We do live in a time of challenge. We've been there before. Stick together. Lean toward what is truly good. Do not be divided by fear or greed or ignorance of the challenges of others. And never despair. The world is always changing. Follow your best instincts, and it will turn your way. And I say it again, don't wait. Your powers are greater right now than you may think. Opportunities are all around you, and you will make more 
by your own efforts, by pushing for your dreams in the time that we are given. At a commencement just like this, just a handful of years ago, it was Steve Jobs talking to new graduates like this. Remembering I'll be dead soon, he said, is the most important tool I've ever encountered to help me make the big choices in life. Remembering that you're going to die, he said, is the best way to avoid the trap of thinking you have something to lose. You are already naked. There is no reason not to follow your heart. And now he's gone, and your lives are just opening up. This is a great day. You are beautiful, young, and strong, and we wish you this. Be brave, be bold, be loving. Niagara University Class of 2012, congratulations. We salute you and we wish you well. Thank you very much, Tom, for your inspirational remarks. It has been a distinct pleasure to have you with us today. And now we come to the conferral of degrees. Will all degree candidates please stand? <clears throat> Reverend President, I have the honor to present to you from the College of Business Administration and the College of Hospitality and Tourism Management candidates who have fulfilled every requirement for their respective degrees. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of the University of the State of New York, with the approval of the Board of Trustees of Niagara University, I hereby confer the appropriate baccalaureate degrees to these candidates and bestow on them all rights and privileges therein. Will the candidates please secure their hoods and move their tassels on your caps to the opposite side. Congratulations to the Niagara University Class of 2012. I'm now pleased to call on Dr. Sean Daly, Dean of the College of Business Administration, to begin the conferral of degrees. Thank you, Dr. Downs. Very Reverend President Levesque, it is my distinct pleasure to present the 83rd class of candidates for the undergraduate degrees in the College of Business Administration. Those students receiving the Bachelor of Business Administration degree in accounting are Chelsea Delaney Baer, Rebecca Catherine Bailey, summa cum laude. Jason Jeffrey Beatty, summa cum laude. Kathleen Marie Bibler, summa cum laude. Michael Amir Booth, Carrie Sue Brooks, magna cum laude. John Joseph Buckley the fourth, cum laude. Samuel Anthony Cucinata. Gregory Stephen Deal. Mark Richard DiGiulio, cum laude, Louis S. S. Junavis Accounting Scholarship Award. <laughs> Megan Marguerite Deister Colosi, summa cum laude. This degree is being presented by her uncle, Paul Deister, mayor of Niagara Falls, New York. Joseph John Fritas, magna cum laude. 
Eric Gregory Fry, cum laude. Okay. Mary Alice Gibson. Patrick Sante Gobi. Joel William Hambalek. Ashley Ann Hubbard with distinction. Ryan James Hughes. Anna Rhonda Jackson. Caitlin Larray Johnson, magna cum laude. Brent Matthew Jones. Suzanne Marie Jordan Williams, with distinction. Donna Lynn Kilroy, with distinction. Kevin Latone. Andrew Shang Him Lee. Diana Marie Libertori. Michelle Nicole Martineau, summa cum laude. Mark Patrick Mechanica, cum laude. Jonathan Edward Miles. Peter Brian Malisha. Melanie Elaine Nowakowski. Aaron Christina O'Byrne, cum laude. Oluwataya Malaya, Olamide Omatosho. Lee Alexandria Polak. Jessica Ann Rogers, magna cum laude. Craig Robert Ruan. Karina Lynn Ripchinski, St. Vincent de Paul Award. Charles Joseph Siebert. Mary Bridget Senate, cum laude. Hillary Ann Sharkey. Tomiko Sheldon. Teresa Elizabeth Smith, cum laude. Deanna Lynn Wallace, Cum laude. Morgan Lee Weir, summa cum laude. Everett Ackerman Award for Excellence in Accounting, Senior Accounting Award, New York State Society of Public Accountants Award. Rebecca Lynn Wilgos, cum laude. Joshua Dale Woodworth, cum laude. Okay. Xiaoning Chong. Those students receiving the Bachelor of Science degree in Commerce are Priscilla York Akwe.
William Daniel Bacco III, magna cum laude. Elizabeth Sarah Ballante, cum laude. Joseph Anthony Berenger. Winton Allen Bernard, cum laude. Matthew Castellani Bromley. Matthew Alexander Carozo. Dennis Marty Chetankaya. Ainsley Jane Church. Anthony Joseph Clare. Christopher Allen Cochran. Dominic Anthony Colucci, magna cum laude. Michael Lewis Crane, magna cum laude. Adam Robert Danny. Mallory Rose Davis, magna cum laude. Laura Lynn Dessing, magna cum laude. Anthony Gary De Gabriel. Molly Catherine Dillon, summa cum laude. Ellen Marie DePofi, cum laude. Nicholas Joseph Downey. Timothy Patrick Downing Jr. Scott Michael Erickson. Matthew Ryan Falsetti. Spencer Richard Farrell being presented by his grandfather, James Glenn, Chair Emeritus of the Board of Trustees. <laughs> Brian E. Favreau, magna cum laude. Talon Douglas Fee, cum laude. Richard Michael Ferguson, cum laude. Caitlin Rose Ferrari. Patrick Kenneth Fetzer. Brent James Fuse, magna cum laude. Father Dana Duggan Award. Patrick Michael Fearley, cum laude. James Douglas Fort, cum laude. Danielle Nicole Fox. Marvin M. Huron Montenegro. Susan Marie Goodwin. <laughs> Kenneth M. Griffin. <laughs> Jesse Earl James Harris with distinction. <laughs> Alexandra Ray Hartman, summa cum laude, university honors. Carl Christopher Howarth, cum laude. Brandon James Helwig. 
Carol Ann Hennessy, magna cum laude, University Honors. Courtney Paige Herbeck, cum laude. Jessica Carol Hosey, magna cum laude. Deborah Ann Ishman. Edward Wallace Jackson, magna cum laude. Michelle Ann James, magna cum laude. Michael James Jones. Arden Catherine Crouch, presented by her mother, Catherine Crouch, Office Coordinator of Career Services. Keith James Quisigro. Arlene May Labrador. Angelica Maria Lasso. Catherine Sarah Lachlan. Matthew John Lebduska. Jessica Jane Lamare. David Lemieux Saracen, summa cum laude. Everett Oxerman, Ward of Excellence in Finance, College of Business, Outstanding Senior Award. <laughs> Clark Shanks McLean. Sarah Lynn Marchese, cum laude, University Honors. Robert Wallace Martini, summa cum laude, Everett Ackerman Award for Excellence in Economics. Jenna Lynn Metzger, summa cum laude. Maria T. McCauley, magna cum laude. Joshua Vincent Miller. William John Mitchell III, magna cum laude. Donald Frank Molnar Jr., summa cum laude. Everett Ackerman Award for Excellence in Management. Thomas Samuel Anthony Moradian, magna cum laude. David A. Kuchera Memorial Award. Paul Michael Lewis Moraine, summa cum laude. Allison Renee Morris. Brandon Eugene Morris. Robert Perry Morris, cum laude. Gabriela Simone Nieves, cum laude. Christopher Robert Noonan, magna cum laude. Rebecca A. O'Connor. Erica Sabrina Ocharzik, cum laude. Michael Paul Pass. Jared Dennis Passman. Mark Joseph Pereira. 
Kaylee Ann Fole, cum laude. Kirsty Marie Phillips, magna cum laude. Christopher Evan Renzel, summa cum laude. Sean Patrick Repman, cum laude. Michael Robert Rockwood. Andrew Leo Rodhams. Jennifer Patricia Rommel. Jacqueline Marie Russell. Amanda Nicole Schler. Alex David Schmidt, magna cum laude. Andrea M. Semsky. Jessica B. Sedlkowski. Casey Smith, summa cum laude. Lindsay Megan Smith, cum laude. Trevor Gilmore Smith. Danielle Megan Soliday. Nicholas Francis Squire. Alex William Staub. Cum laude. Jacqueline Marie Stapleton. Anthony Charles Stevens. Michael Brian Stevens. Rocco Anthony Serace being presented by his father, Rocco Serace, member of the Board of Advisors. <laughs> Jessica Lynn Teddy. <laughs> Benjamin James Thorne, summa cum laude. Casey Andrew Thorpe. Anne Bo Tron. Adam Robert Wagner, summa cum laude, Everett Ackerman Award for Excellence in Marketing, Lieutenant Lynch Memorial Award. Graham Ivan Walker, with distinction. <laughs> Megan Alice Waterman, magna cum laude. Christopher John Went. Sarah Elizabeth Wynott. Cum laude. Mary Elizabeth Zenfordino. Miranda Diana Kathleen Zimmerman. Ling Joe with distinction. Christopher William Zukas. Those students receiving the associate's degree in applied sciences are Christiana Marie Serace, presented by her father, Rocco Serace, member of the Board of Advisors.
Mary, McDermott, Troya. This completes the list of candidates for undergraduate's degrees in the College of Business Administration. And never has a more accomplished group of students graced this stage at Niagara University. This is your College of Business Administration. Now I am pleased to call on Dr. Gary Pretzel, Dean of the College of Hospitality and Tourism. Dr. Pretzel. Thank you, Dr. Downs, and thank you, students. Reverend President Levesque, I am pleased to call forward and present to you the candidates for degrees from the College of Hospitality and Tourism Management, our 43rd graduation class. <laughs> Students receiving Bachelor of Science degrees in Hotel and Restaurant Management or Tourism and Recreation Management or Sport Management are Jessica Ann Adams, cum laude. Brianna Elizabeth Murphy Allen, magna cum laude. Nina Christine Barber. Hope Courtney Bischoff. Maureen Claire Boyd, University Honors, summa cum laude. Danielle Jacob Brian, Recognition of Distinctive Scholarship. Lindsay R. Boyle, Manya Cum Laude. Desiree A. Berg, Recognition of Distinctive Scholarship. Taryn Emily Burkholder. Matthew Vincent Cardella. Diploma presented by his father, Art Cardella, Alumni Director. <laughs> Emily Caitlin Carson. <laughs> Timothy Russell Carter. <laughs> Cody Patrick Castilia, <laughs> Manya Cum Laude. Bianca F. Castagnero, cum laude. <laughs> Stephanie Marie Chukowski, Manya cum laude. <laughs> Suzanne Charlotte Claybaugh. <laughs> Matthew Adam Cook. <laughs> Ryan Ann Cornish, cum laude. Andrea Nicole Carreri, cum laude. <laughs> Aubriana Lynn Curtis. <laughs> Julie Marie DiMatteo. <laughs> Nicole Marie Domanti, mania cum laude. <laughs> Amy Jean Damiano. Recipient of the Hospitality, Sport, and Tourism Award in Tourism Management and Summa Cum Laude. Kevin Joseph Eckert, Cum Laude. Samantha Lynn Elliott. Natalie Joe Fischera, Cum Laude. Amelia A. Fobister. Jason Matthew Freeman, Kevin C. Geyser, Andrew Franklin Gala, Colleen Elise George, Manya Cum Laude, 
Nicholas John Gibson, Manya Cum Laude. <laughs> Megan Elizabeth Gorecki. Marissa Lynn Granto, Cum Laude. Sarah Marie Teresa Gromick, diploma presented by her mother, Debbie Gromick, senior lecturer, CIS. Bennett J. Gustafson, James Robert Hannon, cum laude, Jennifer Elizabeth Hare, Manya cum laude, Philip Hendricks, Emily Ann Heiler, Manya cum laude, Kelly Teresa Herzog, cum laude. Lisa Maria Hay, recognition of distinctive scholarship. Rhonda Lee Hicks. Jamie Lynn Hilsher. David John Hoover recipient of the Hospitality, Sport, and Tourism Award in Sport Management, the St. Vincent de Paul Award, and cum laude. <laughs> Dawn Alicia Hugh, cum laude. Eric Michael Kazmarski, cum laude. <laughs> Jessica Elizabeth Kaiser, cum laude. Kara Jane Karniski. Trevor Lawrence Kenny. Jocelyn Charlotte Kleiber. Katrina Marie Kovach, Manya Cum Laude. Julie Marie Kowalchuk, Manya Cum Laude. Lauren Elizabeth Kramer. Martin Tobias Krausbeck, recognition of distinctive scholarship. Julie Marie Landell. Annika Lofler, recipient of the Hospitality, Sport, and Tourism Award in Hotel and Restaurant Management and recognition of distinctive scholarship. Brian M. Longfield. David Sung Murphy Lund. Lindsay Nicole Maloney. Taylor Lynn Mazakowski. Sean David McKnight. William Patrick McKnight. Samantha Joe Mokarski, Jordan Silas Moore, Lindsay Elizabeth Moriel, Laura Ashley Nerber, Brittany Elizabeth Norris. Michael J. Nunn, Jr. <laughs> Stephanie Catherine Piazic, University Honors, Manya Cum Laude. Edmund Plotz, Recognition of Distinctive Scholarship. Zachary E. Poynton. David Paparevka, Recognition of Distinctive Scholarship. Brittany Nicole Pyle. Kara Elise Quarantello. Lauren Marie Quattrini. 
Danielle Jean Raleigh, Manya Cum Laude, Shanna Beth Reed, Summa Cum Laude, Felicitas Rebecca Reich, Recognition of Distinctive Scholarship, Alyssa Marie Reedy, Erica Joan Rogozinski, Cum Laude, Joseph Joseph Root, Rebecca Nicole Rakowski, Manya Cum Laude, Christian Hayes Ryan, Cum Laude, William Vincent Ryan, Laura Lynn Sadler, Manya Cum Laude, Kelsey Elizabeth Schneider, University Honors, Manya Cum Laude, Jessica Bates Sebring, Taryn Ray Shackleton, Manya Cum Laude, Constantine Skyas, Michael David Smaldown, Michelle Amber Stitt, Charles Floyd Stadolka, Kevin David Stott, Crystal Lynn Thacker, Shane Edward Travers, Recognition of Distinctive Scholarship, Jeremy Joseph Van Antwerp, Cum Laude, Janine Marie Wagner, Cum Laude, Trevor James Wallace, Cum Laude, Caitlin Rose Watson, Manya Cum Laude, Brandon James Woodcock, Manya Cum Laude, Mary Teresa Zimmerman, Cum Laude, Reverend President Levesque, this concludes the graduates of the nationally ranked founding member leading hotel schools of the world, the program that offered the world's first bachelor's degree in tourism, and the seventh program accredited in the country in hospitality and tourism. Thank you very much and congratulations to these graduates. Congratulations, graduates of the class of 2012. We are very proud of you. It is a Niagara tradition to present Emerito medals to faculty members who have completed 25 years of service to this university. Today we have one such faculty member, Dr. Tin Pao Lee, PhD and Professor of Commerce. Tan Pao recently completed serving as the Interim Dean for the College of Business Administration. Niagara extends its sincere thanks to him for his service and commitment to Niagara University. I ask Tan Pao to come forward to accept the Emerito Medal. Lieutenant Colonel Paul Dancero, Chair of the Military Science Department, will now present our ROTC candidates with their commissions as second lieutenants in the United States Army. Colonel.
Aye. Aye, Robert Conroy. Aye, Andrew Gary. Aye, Peter Gerritsen. Aye, Christopher Haggard. Aye, Gregory Hotelling. Aye, John Lavoulis. Aye, James McCoy. Aye, Christopher Tornabaney. Aye, Sarah Schaefer. Aye, Matthew Ranji. Aye, Sean Reedy. Aye, Vincent Fulwerski. Aye, Kyle Pear. Aye, Richard McKee. Having bought, been appointed an officer in the Army of the United States, In the grade of second lieutenant, in the grade of second lieutenant, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that I will support and defend, that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States, Constitution of the United States, against all enemies, foreign and domestic, against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I take this oath freely, that I take this oath freely, without any mental reservations, without any mental reservations, or purpose of evasion. And that I will faithfully discharge, that I will faithfully discharge the, duties of the, office the duties of the office upon which I'm about to enter. Upon which I'm about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. It is customary for student leaders to offer their expression of gratitude to peers, parents, faculty, and administrators. I am pleased to call on Mr. Matthew Carozzo, president of the senior class, for his remarks. Mr. Carozzo. Thank you, Dr. Downs. We've been here for a while, so this is going to be pretty brief, especially since my head is very itchy right now. <laughs> On behalf of the class of 2012, I would like to extend our welcome to our families, friends, alumni, honorees, faculty, staff, and administration at this 155th undergraduate commencement ceremony and the first one to be back on Niagara's campus. I would first like to thank the members of the student government organization, Christina Knapp, Aaron Haley, Jordan Hernandez, John Lavoulis, Sarah Schaefer, Andrew Gallo, Lindsey Frank, Dr. Bertland, Nina Williams, and Christopher Zoukas for the dedicated work on behalf of the student government and university. Every one of these individuals has dedicated themselves to fulfilling the Vicentian mission of the university and enriching student life. Another thank you goes to President Father Levesque, Dr. Bonnie Rose, Brother Martin Schneider, Rhonda Shia, Bill Newton, Mary Maytash, Maddie Ortiz, Dr. Hearn, Carrie McLaughlin, and Dr. Downs. Through your work, you have helped make the time here at Niagara an enjoyable and enriching experience, which we shall deeply miss once we venture out into the real world. Finally, I would like to thank all of you, the families and friends who have supported us throughout our college career. Your guidance, support, and most importantly, money, have allowed us to get to this point today. <laughs> now, the reason that we're here, to the graduating class of 2012, after four years, I've written many papers, delivered many presentations, and endured many all-nighters. All Yet it was still a struggle for me to write this speech today. Not because of nerves, but because of the accomplishments of the class of 2012 were too numerous to lift, list. From the Ridge Report to the Senior Cruise, the spirit, enthusiasm, and camaraderie of our class is what sets us apart from all others. So what can I say to my friends, peers, and classmates, but congratulations. Over the last four years, we've become very close. 
If nothing else, Senior Week has even made it closer. From the hallway gauntlet of the senior crews to doing the wobble and doing Ham Hamilton maneuvers on the jet boats during Senior Week, we have grown closer and learned so much about each other. Even through all these fun times outside of the classroom, we still excelled in our academics. With this, I would now like to offer thanks to the people at Google and Wikipedia. <laughs> we are finally here, but now what? We call today a commencement, obviously not because our college career is over, but because the next step of our lives is about to commence. Each of us will be going on into our own direction, some the workforce, others graduate school, and others to serve our country in the military. Wherever our next step takes us, let us remember the Vincentian values that we're taught here at Niagara and lead our lives in accordance with those values. St. Vincent de Paul said, with God's help, you will continue to succeed in your leadership and your duties. Because our Lord's work is accomplished not so much by the multitude of workers, but the fidelity of the small number in whom he calls. He's called on each one of us today. So let us go forward into the future and be the class that makes a difference in the world. It is our duty and obligation to take what we have learned, our knowledge, morals, our spirituality, and implement them into our communities for the greater good of society and the honor of Niagara University. In the words of OAR, you can lose all your money, lose all your gold. You'll never lose your heart, and no one can take your soul. That's why I'm never going to quit, and I'm never going to stop. Remember that your heart is always here as a purple eagle. If you ever forget that, just look into your drawer of 500 free and new t-shirts. <laughs> never forget the lessons and friendships that Niagara has fostered. We'll always be here as a family. Hashtag Perp Nation. Thank you. Thank you, Matthew. I want to offer special thanks to Brother Martin Schneider, CM, our commencement marshal, who met the many challenges of staging today's commencement. Additionally, it should be noted that this year marks Brother Martin's 25th year of leading these commencement ceremonies and his 50th anniversary as a Vincentian brother. I would also like to extend our appreciation to the many people who have contributed in numerous ways to today's ceremonies, home to Mont Eagle Ridge. A special thanks to Vincent Agnello, JD, Professor of Business Law and Director of the Family Business Center for serving as Associate Marshal for today's ceremony. I'm now very pleased to call on Father Levesque for his remarks. Father? Thank you. Dear graduates, congratulations to all of you. Thank you for being a part of Niagara University, and now we wish you well for a future <clears throat> full of great hope and happiness. I want to take a moment. I, I want to say some praise to you, but I want to take a moment to thank some special people who are here on the stage. I, I want to thank especially some of our trustees who are here. Father Michael Carroll, who is Vice Chair of the Board and Provincial of our Vincentian Community. James Glynn, Chair Emeritus of the Board. Robert Clune, Trustee, and Paul O'Leary, Trustee. And all members of our Board of Advisors, but especially Rocco Serace and Mayor Paul Deister, who are here. I want to thank especially also, and you do indeed honor us, even though we are granting special honors to you, uh, Tom Ashbrook, and Jim Bolt. So congratulations. I thank you, especially our honorees, for gracing us. And we were amazed and happy to hear the great words about your work and your presence for advising and guiding our students simply by the example of your own life and your accomplishments. So thank you all for being with us and we congratulate you once again. Thank you.
Dear graduates, I, I think many things have been said about you that are all true today, and let me just add a few words of my own. Indeed, you know pretty well by now who you are. You know where you come from, your family, your roots, and you know all those who love you and have helped you. You know what is in your heart also, your love, your fears, your hope. We know that you are bright and that you have a good heart, which you must always continue to keep on forming. Now, you must take the vision you have and sharpen it and follow it. Tom Ashbrook has said it best today, truly. And we, you will also have challenges. I want to say clearly to you, if Niagara University can ever do anything to help you as you move forward in the future, Please stay in touch with us. Get in touch with us. Let us know how you are doing. You are part of the university. You are called alumni of the university. You are tied to the university. And we want to keep you very close to us. And yes, and you might expect me to say it, even if you drop a $10 bill in the mail from time to time, <laughs> we'd love it. I'm confident also that the love of God and the heart of St. Vincent de Paul has shown themselves to you in your time here, and they have helped form you. I beg you, keep God in your life. Let St. Vincent guide you with his love for those who are the neediest in the world. The world needs people like you, imbued with the love of God, and the love of others, especially those who need you most. So share your mind and your skills with all the world, but don't forget to share your heart, your compassion. We're very proud of you today for all your accomplishments, and we ask you to continue to be proud of your university, your second home. We send you forward today with our love and our blessing for you. I take a moment to say thank you to all of you, families, and friends of these graduates. You have been extremely influential in their lives. You have formed them. You have brought them into the world. And today you sit here proudly and are thankful to them and to God for bringing them to this time in life. But we say thank you very much for doing that. Thank you for bringing them also to Niagara University. You have done much to help them and you will continue to do so for the rest of your lives. I thank you, faculty and staff, administration, dear colleagues. You have expended your own life and energy to help these students and many others who have preceded them and many others who will come after them. I thank you sincerely for being here today and for all those years of commitment to them. So we beg you class of 2012, be extremely happy today and continue to be successful. We are always, the people who surround you today are always going to be here to continue to support you and love you. Congratulations and God bless you. Thank you, Father, for your remarks this morning. I declare the commencement ceremony of the Niagara University College of Business Administration and the College of Hospitality and Tourism officially closed. Thank you.